So while my tea is steeping, while the dog is kind of quiet, and while I'm waiting, while it's pretty quiet in general, and I'm waiting on a couple other things, I figured I'd explain kind of like I'm in a transitionary phase right now. So I am looking at basically reinstalling my system from like ground zero or from zero in essence. But I've taken a lot of steps to, well, I've taken a few steps so far to make it so that I can take my system and put it back to where, about where it was before. Maybe even a little bit better and a little bit more like ship shape than it is currently. So kind of for background, this system has gone through like multiple years and multiple different setups. One of the big catalysts for this is I want to be able to not trip anti-cheat. And for some reason on this particular install, easy anti-cheat gets tripped and then I have issues where I can't really play certain games probably due to some of those issues. For example, I'll I have a fresh Artix install where with Halo and I can run easy anti cheat just fine in it and it doesn't like trip anything up, multiplayer works fine and what have you. But for some reason on this particular install that I'm recording on, that doesn't quite work out. So I've gone through a few steps so far to prepare what I need in order to have a smooth install and to get everything set up. So one of the first things that someone probably does, and I've seen a few people do this, is figure out, okay, what do I have installed? What do I want to keep? And in this case, I've got a whole bunch of text files that I've put together in order to figure out what those things are. So if we go and do a fast fetch, you can see in my packages, I've got Pac-Man and Flatpak packages. So <clears throat> I've basically got the explicit install list and then the install list right here. And this is the full comprehensive install list, whereas the explicit one only lists packages I explicitly installed myself. And I think, and this one's definitely the more condensed one. So you've got 50 kilobytes thereabouts versus 163. And that's kind of a big difference. And then we've also got the flat packs. So I've got these listed out so I know, hey, these are what I have installed so far. And I can sort through them to figure out what I don't want to install, what I do want to install. And then later on, I could use it as a list to run through Pac-Man to install stuff when I redo the Artix install. The other thing that I've done is I've grabbed a backup of my Pac-Man conf. So if I go into it, you'll see I've got the repos basically here and a couple others and then community extra and so on. Universe from Artix and Arch. So this will give me an idea of what, give me somewhere to start with my Pac-Man conf once I reinstall. So a couple other things is I've debated on backing up my whole home folder. And being as I've got a four terabyte SSD, I was running through and like sizing things up. And my home folder takes up about, what was it? Two, two and a half get terabytes of space. That includes all my Steam games and things like that. So I was going through sizing things up. And right now what I'm thinking is I'll just reinstall the Steam games through Steam once I install that, and my GOG games and Heroic, and g Epic games through Heroic. So I've basically got these lists of GOG games that were installed via the Mojo installer. Then I've got the games installed through Heroic. And then I've also got the Lutris installed games. So this is important because this is a list of games that I've installed through Lutris, and not all of them are in there like through a Lutris installer. Some of them I manually set up. So like, oh, 
say Dark Souls and Dawn of War are a couple that I have done on my own. CNC Remastered is kind of a folder where I've got a re the source code a source code build of Command and Conquer Remastered where the binaries are where I can compile them for native Linux. And then a couple others. I've also got my Steam games listed. And it's a long list. So this will give me an idea of what I'm working off of. So really all I did for these is I went to the GOG games directory and said, hey, list all these out. And it did and spit it out into a text file. Same thing with Heroic. I went to the Heroic directory, list all these files out, spit it out in this text file. Lutris was a little bit more interesting. Because of the way that it's nested, it's got the GOG and GOG games directories inside of there. So I not only went inside of there, inside of the games directory, which is where Lutris installs by default, I went to those ones in tacked those on as well. And then Heroic was its own directory, which is up here, which goes in the, was in the games directory. So now I can sort through these game lists and figure out, okay, what did I manually install? What can I install otherwise? And from there, I'm able to take everything that I, the whole system and basically, okay, here's how I'm gonna transition over. Here's what I need to back up. Here's what I don't necessarily need to back up. And then I can be fine. And that's kind of what I did. why I did it, is because then I know I can sort through it. And then when I... I still need a hard drive or SSD to back up to. And I plan on picking up one of those tomorrow. As of recording this, or today, the day that I upload it. And what this will allow me to do is back everything up and then run an install over the weekend when I basically don't have anything I'm working on. So I have my rice backed up and everything else by the time I hit the weekend when I'm going to do the full reinstall and then I can do the games while I'm at school and have like way, way faster internet. So this is kind of the process that it's going through. It may, it's going to look very much the same after I'm done with it and come back to record, like do my other stuff on Monday and a couple days after that. But it should only take a weekend to do the base install and have the rice and everything set up so that I can have everything else prepped for when I'm installing the games itself later on. And yeah, this is a process you can like steal everybody, I think does a similar process. Beyond that, I need to, I've been needing to take and back up a hard drive and consolidate a hard drive from high school, like over a decade ago, that's still alive. And I don't want to lose all that data before it... I want to be able to save that data before that particular hard, external hard drive dies. So it's kind of like two birds with one stone. I get a like five terabyte hard drive. I back up my home folder. And then I also back up my other hard drive, so I've got everything consolidated, can sort through it, and then do that whole rigmarole again. But yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun to deal with. By the way, when I said steeping tea, like that stuff right there, this is what I mean, gamer tea. Like, look at that logo. Anyway, not much of a black tea guy, but what? This one's pretty spicy. This one, don't steep it too hot because otherwise it gets kind of bitter. But it'll kind of mellow out as it cools off and sticks around for a little bit more steep time. So there's that. And this is what's steeping currently. But yeah, gamer sups, gamer tea. I'll let you have a shot at that logo. If you enjoyed the video, then like, comment, subscribe, feed the algorithm, boost the video up, share this video with your friends. If you found it informative or you just want to chat, I've got plenty of places in the description, Discord, Gilded, and what have you. Check those out, and I will see you guys in the next one.